गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न द थर्ड पार्ट ऑफ आवर एनिमल फार्म दैट इज द कैरेक्टर्स ऑफ द पर्टिकुलर नॉवेल एनिमल फार्म बाय जॉर्ज ऑर्वेल इन दिस पर्टिकुलर नॉवेल इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स वी लर्न अबाउट द प्लॉट रिव्यू एंड द वट इज द इंट्रोडक्शन टू द ऑथर जॉर्ज ऑर्वेल and how it is, it is a satirical novel is one of the most important part of the animal form novel now we are going to learn about the characters of the novel see the characters that is the pigs from the uh, that particular animal form as the <coughs> as the characters of the no, novel that the first pig the called as a old major an aged prize medal white boar provides the inspiration that fuels the rebellion he is also called willingdon beauty when showing he is an allegorical combination of karl marx one of the creators of communism and vladimir lenin the communist leader of the russian revolution and the early soviet nation in that he draws up the principles of the revolution his skull being put on revered public display recalls lenin whose embalmed body was left in indefinite repose by the end of the book the skull is reburied next napoleon a large rather fierce looking berkshire boar or the pig the only berkshire on the farm not much of talker but with a reputation for getting his own way and allegory of joseph stalin Napoleon is the leader of the of animal farm. Next character Snowball, Napoleon's rival and original head of the farm after John's overthrow, his life parallels that of Leo Trotsky, but may also combine elements from Lenin. Next character Squee Squealer, that is a small white fat porker who serves. serves as napoleon's second in command and minister of propaganda holding a position similar to that of vachislav molotov next term and the character minimus a poetic pig who writes the second and third national anthems of animal farm after the singing of beasts of england is banned literary theorist john rodden compares him to the poet vladimir mayakovsky the piglets the characters hinted to be the children of napoleon and are the first generation of animals subjected to his idea of animal inequality next character the young pigs four pigs who complain about napoleon's takeover of the farm but are quickly silenced and later executed the first animals killed in napoleon's farm purge probably based on the great purge of grigori zinovi and other characters pinky the character a minor pig who is mentioned only once he is the test tester that samples napoleon's food to make sure it is not poisoned in response to rumors about an assassination attempts on napoleon see everything is discussed in this particular novel through the characters is the important part of the satire of the novel or the satire satire uh, presented in the novel is the most important part which uh, which conveys the message to the reader that how that there is a satire uh, satire presented in the novel next characters are from humans that is first character mr jones a heavy drinker who is the original owner of manor farm at uh, as it is after named after uh, animals victory on that farm uh, it is called as animal farm before animal farm it is called as a manor farm farm that is the original owner of the uh, animal farm a farm is despair with farm lands who often loaf on the job he is an allegory of russian tuscan nicholas second who abdicated following the february revolution of 1917 and was murdered along with the rest of his family by the bolsheviks on 17 july 1918 the animals revolt after jones drinks so much he does not care for them next character mr fetri the tough owner of pinchfield farm a small but well kept neighboring farm who
who briefly enters into an alliance with Napoleon. Animal Farm shares land boundaries with Pinchfield on one side and Foxwood on another, making Animal Farm a buffer zone between the two bickering farmers. The animals of Animal Farm are terrified of Fedri as rumors abound of him abusing his animals and entertaining himself with cockfighting, a likely allegory for the human rights abuses of Adolf Hitler. Napoleon enters into an alliance with Fedri in order to sell surplus timber that Pickington also sought, but is enlarged to learn Frederick paid him in counterfeit money. Shortly after the swindling, Frederick and his men evade, invade Animal Farm, killing many animals and destroying the windmill. The brief alliance and subsequent invasion may allude to the Moloto Ribitrop Pact and Operation Barboso. Next character, Mr. Piggy Pillington, the easygoing but crafty and well to do owner of Foxwood Farm, a large neighboring farm overgrown with weeds. Pickling Pilkington is with wealthier than Frederick and owns more land, but his farm is in need of care as opposed to Frederick's smaller but more efficiently run farm. Although on bad terms with Frederick, Pillington is also concerned about the animal revolution that disposed, deposed Jones and worried that this could also happen to him. Mr. Wimper, a man hired by Napoleon to act as the liaison between animal farm and human society. At first, he is used to acquire necessities that cannot be produced on the farm, such as dog biscuits and parrot. Fin wax, but later he pros- procures luxurious luxuries like alcohol for the pigs. Next, equines, which is, which is related to the uh, breed of the horses, and uh, one of the character from equines uh, is a boxer, a loyal, kind, dedicated, extremely strong, hardworking, and respectable cart house cart horse. Equines means the cart horse, although quite naive and gullible. Boxer does not does a large share of the physical labor on the farm. He is shown to hold the belief that Napoleon is always right. At one point, he had challenged Squillier, Squillier's statement that Snowball was always against the welfare of the farm, earning him an attack from Napoleon dogs, but Boxer immense strength depends the attack, worrying the pigs that their authority can be challenged. Boxer has been compared to Alexei Stoknow, a diligent and enthusiastic role model of the Stoknowati moment. He had been he has been described as faithful as strong and strong. He believes any problem can be solved if he works harder. When Boxer is injured, Napoleon sells him to a local knacker to buy himself whiskey and squealer gives a moving account falsifying boxer's death. Next equine is Molly, a self-centered, self-indulgent and when young white mare who quickly leaves for another farm after the revolution in a manner similar to those who left Russia after the fall of the Tsar. She is only once mentioned again. Next, Clover, a gentle, caring mare who so shows concern especially for Boxer, who often pushes himself too hard. Clover can read all the letters of the alphabet but cannot put words together. She seems to catch on to the sly tricks and schemes set up by Napoleon and Squiller. Benjamin is the next character, a donkey, one of the oldest, wisest animals on the farm and one of the few who can read properly, he is skeptical, temp- temperamental and cynical. His most frequent remark is, life will go on as it has always go on, that is badly. The academic Maurice Dickinson has suggested there is a touch of Orwell himself in this creature's timeless skepticism. And indeed friends called Orwell Donkey George after his grumbling donkey Benjamin in Animal Farm. 
Next animals are other animals, Muriel, a wise old goat who is friends with all of the animals on the farm. Similarly to Benjamin, Muriel is one of the few animals on the farm who is not a pig but can read. The puppies, offspring of Jesus and Bluebell, the puppies were taken away at birth by Napoleon and raised by him to serve as his powerful security force. Next character, Moses. The raven Mr. Jones, his special pet, was a spy and a tell bearer, but he was also a clever talker. Initially, following Mrs. Jones into exile, he reappears several years later and resumes his role of talking but not working. He regales animal farms denizens with tales of the wondrous place beyond the clouds called Sugar Candy Mountain, that happy country when we poor animals shall rest forever from our labors. Orwell portraits established religion as the black raven or of priestcraft, promising pie in the sky when you die, the faithfully serving whoever happens to be in power. His preaching to the animal, animals heart turns them. And Napoleon allows Moses to reside at the farm with an allowance of a gill of beer daily, akin to how Stalin brought back the Russian Orthodox Church during the Second World War. The ship next character they show limited understanding of animalism and the political atmosphere of the farm. Yet nonetheless they are the vice of by blind conformity as they be bleat. Their support of Napoleon's ideals with jingles during his speeches and meetings with Snowball. Their constant bleating of four legs good, two legs bad was used as a device to drown out any opposition or alternative views from Snowball. Much as Stalin used hysterical crowds to drown out Trotsky. Towards the latter section of the book, Squiller, the prota propagandist, trains the ship to alter their slogan to four legs good, two legs better, which they dutifully do. The hens, the next characters, the hens are promised at the start of the revolution that they will get to keep their eggs, which are stolen from them under Mr. Jones. However, their eggs are soon taken from them under the premise of buying goods from outside animal farm. The hens are among the first to rebel, albeit unsuccessfully, against, against Napoleon. Next character, cows. The cows are in, enticed into the revolution by promises that their milk will not be stolen but can be used to raise their own cows. Their milk is the, then stolen by the pigs who learn to milk them. The milk is steered into the pigs' mash every day while the other animals are denied such luxuries. Next character is the cat. Never seen to carry out any work. The cat is absent for long periods and is forgiven, for, forgiven because he, her excuses are so convincing and she purred so affectionately that it was impossible not to believe in her good intentions. She has no interest in the politics of the farm and the only time she is recorded as having participated in an election, she is found to have actually Quoted on both sides. So here we can understand how those characters are animal from animal farm, farm are the animals and their behavior is personified with the human beings and it is one of the best satirical novel by George Orwell. Here we end about our characters and the plot review and the satirical theme uh, on the animal farm in the next lecture we will discuss about the theme on of the animal farms